Hey, I'm Skyler. Let's say you receive a Word file in an email on iPhone. Uh, if you tap on the email and we see the Word file down here at the bottom as an attachment, I can tap on it and it will load and we can see it. If you tap the share button in the upper right hand corner, you can see all of the applications on your iPhone that could open that document. Now, some of them would store it locally, uh, such as phone drive. But most of the services I have, like um, Dropbox, Dropler, Evernote, and even Pages would all store it in some sort of cloud. So if I really want to store it on the phone, uh, the thing I recommend to most people is Phone Drive. It costs $1.99 for the full version of the app from the App Store. If you want to open it in a word processor that can actually manipulate it um, and do so in rich text, then I recommend Pages. So if I tap Pages here, what we'll see is the app open and importing document. So Pages downloads the document from mail and changes its format so that it can be read by Pages. We'll give it a second. There we go. It's going to tell you that it'll look different. Yeah, not a big deal. It's not going to be drastically different unless you've got some really sophisticated formatting in there. And in years of working with pages on iPhone, I really haven't seen a document get totally messed up. So once I've downloaded the document and I tap on it, the document will open up. And from here, I could edit it. I could do whatever. If I tap the wrench, I could share and print and email the document. Then I can choose whatever format I want to send it out as. So I can send it back out as a Word document or a PDF so that anybody could read it or a pages document for other Apple users. That's just one method, but one that I think works pretty well. It gives you a lot of flexibility and a lot of power. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.